Well, good to have you back on the program as we continue through on this, uh, this day. Uh, a lot going on. We're one week away, one week away from the big debate with Joe Biden, Donald Trump. Uh, all eyes will be on that. All eyes for me continue to be on China, though. I consider that the Chinese Communist Party to be the most dangerous entity to America. Anna Mu is a member of the new federal state of China. They're the ones that are resistance, if you will, to the Chinese Communist Party. Anna, good to have you back. Good to be here. Thank you very much. And, and when I talk about the debate and I look at what's happening with China, the reason I think that they are so dangerous is because they're very sly sometimes in getting in and mm -hmm. influencing key American policies. Other times they're more bold, like sending Chinese nationals, uh, men of, of military age over the southern Mexican border. A lot of different things going on here, but influencing policies, sending people over the border, reports of cyber police, running online networks, helping illegals flood into the U.S. It's all coming from Beijing, isn't it? There's a lot. That's absolutely the case. There's a lot going on. And uh, first of all, for the new federal state of China, we haven't received uh, any uh, specific uh, detailed uh, reports on so. But there have been many discussions on notes of the cyber police agents runs online network and helping illegal immigrants flooding into U.S. So I think, uh, you know, for, for for the first part here, uh, it is a very much uh, private social network. And it says it to be run by a self-identified Chinese government agent. And it said they have provided uh, illegal immigrants with resources to get into the U.S. and to evade border authorities. Now, if it's a self-identified Chinese you know, individual, they can't just provide resources. They can't just provide the routes, the trails, the guided, you know, all the different uh, the different messages and the passages to these uh, people who want to uh, flood into the U.S. So it is a whole government and a whole big run uh, system that is now we see what is happening. So it says the you know, whole, I've, you know, the whole group. Yeah, that's sure. Very big. I, I've seen these um, these cheat sheets, if you will. Yes, uh, of, yes. of these Chinese, they, they have these cards. Here's what you do when you get to the border. A, B, C, D. Here's, I mean, here's the, here are the steps to follow as you get close to the border, as you get to the border, after you cross the border, where you go, who you contact, how you get out of there, how you don't get jammed up. All of that is on a, on a, on a sheet here for some of them just to follow a step-by-step -step procedure of how to break into America. It's all there for them. Have you seen those? Mm -hmm. It is. It is all there for them. It's like you said, a cheat sheet. And you know, just fairly speaking as well, the CCP does not need to use guided trails to let the illegal immigrants or spies into the country to to create destruction. Because I mean, quite obvious, like uh, the start of this segment here, uh, the CCP can just easily sway the policy makers and then the use the way the country is run and then it's going to all go to the plans that the CCP wants. So, you know, from the, from a you know social view, of course they can uh, they can guide the trails, they can let the immigrants, illegal immigrants, are uh, going to the country. But really, they can just make the policies the way that they want, and then it will cause even bigger destruction here in the United States. So I think that's quite yeah. obvious for what we can see. Yeah. Yeah. And as a result of that, you know, so they have this coordinated effort with their yes. cheat sheet, with their, with their list of instructions on how to get in. And then, once they do that, they also help others get in, exploiting cheap labor, destroying local markets in America, destroying American companies, mm -hmm. because China is, any American company that falls down, it's remarkable, but China seems to have a replacement ready to go, boom. You want to build this, mm -hmm. you can't build that, we'll build it. You want to take care of this, you can't do it, we'll take care of it. Whether it's antibiotics, uh, meat packing, produce, agriculture, high tech, and everything in between, from, from, from people picking fruit to people building satellites. China can step in everywhere and exploit America's ability to create things. Where am I wrong? Oh, of course not. And like, uh, like just this part here as well. You know, the CCP um, kleptocrats, along with a lot of U.S. elites, and then the globalists, cause a massive inflow of the illegal immigrants. But now, you know, it's visible at the southern border. But because of the whole policy, uh, even the trade policy, it does not benefit the ordinary grassroots Chinese people. And they cannot be self-sufficient, and they have to flee their own country, and then go to the United States because of the cheap labor. 
Looks like we have a bit of an issue. Anna's uh, because of the uh, oh, there we well go. Paid. She's back. Also, high quality yeah. manufacturing jobs. It is, yeah. Yes, yes, we are back, we are back. So in the end, yeah. that is what it is. You know, it's just going to take away the American people's opportunity. So, you know, let's not forget that the failed U.S. policies towards the CCP will lead to the result that we have seen now. Yeah, and, and, and here's the other thing that we see trickling out faster and faster. It is evidence that Joe Biden mm -hmm. and Hunter Biden and Jim Biden are compromised, that they are... We're being financially supplemented by the Chinese to different levels. We don't know the extent of it exactly, but it continues to come out. And it concerns me that the American president was getting money from China in any fashion, and it could be to the tune of millions of dollars. I'll give you the last word, because that would explain a lot of the things that we've been seeing and how the border has been open and how there's been a, a complacency dealing with China in general. If you're getting paid, you might just turn a blind eye. What do you That's say? That's right. That's right. And that's how the uh, BGY scheme is being played. Of course, they can use the media to control, and that's the blue. And of course, they can use the gold and using the money or the bribery, in this case, to stacking up uh, the resources and then leading to the result of, uh, you know, swaying the different uh, opinions. And then, of course, in the end, it is about the um, of course, the sexual part, and also about all the scandals that comes up, and that's how they really get in the control and infiltrate into the political system. So I think that sort of, you know, wraps up how the CCP does it. There you go. Anna Moo, always mm -hmm. good to have you here. Greatly appreciate it. It's, um, we raise the red flag here. Whether or not people pay attention is, well, that's up to you guys. We raise the red flag. We tell you what's going on. There are things to be concerned about, important things. Anna Moo, thank you for thank being you here as much. always.